Adventures of a Comfort Cook. Mary Kokanawa here. So, what's something that you really love to have with any kind of poultry? Stuffing. I'm making a roast turkey breast today, so I'm not going to be stuffing it, but I am on the side going to be doing my homemade stuffing. It's a bread and meat stuffing. Now, I use ground beef. A lot of people use pork, if that's what you like, or use a mixture of both. But I'm going to show you how I do mine. And it's only going to be enough stuffing to go with the turkey breast. If you want to stuff a turkey, double this recipe. Let's go. Okay, so I'm using a 10 ounce package of herbed, seasoned, cubed stuffing cubes. All right, this is Mrs. Coverson's. It's the brand they sell around here. Uh, so I've used Pepperidge Farm. I've used no name brands, but you want the uh, herbed and you want cubes. And what it's been doing is for 10 minutes, sitting in the bowl with a cup and a half of milk. So it's been soaking up the milk and getting moist and the cubes have been puffing up a bit. So to this, we're now going to add a pound of lean ground beef. All right, so I use ground beef. You want to use pork. You want to use pork and ground beef. Go for it. All right, you do whatever it is that your family likes. We have, and these are pre-cooked. I took a tablespoon of butter and a cup of diced onions. Low heat for 20 minutes. Stir occasionally. So you want to get it where they're not perfectly white anymore. They're kind of soft and translucent or, or clearer looking than the opaque white. So we're going to put that in the bowl. You want to get everyone. It's like, it's like onion candy. All right. And then for some seasoning, celery salt instead of plain salt. So we're going to have a little celery seasoning in there plus the salt. And that's a teaspoon. And then I've got two tablespoons of dried parsley. Of course, while it's cooking and it mixes with the meat and the bread cubes that have milk, it's going to soften up. So get that all in there. And guess what? We're going to get our hands dirty. Remember that meatball video? We're going to get our hands dirty. You want to get in there? There we go. And mix it all up. This is my husband's favorite stuffing. He had this and no more plain bread stuffing. And we don't use stovetop. Used to like stovetop, but they did something with the seasoning and they just it just doesn't taste right anymore. So, and this is just, you know, takes 45 minutes in the oven. So if you have time to be cooking a meal, you have time to make fresh stuffing. So all together, this is going to be what, 15, mi 15 minutes to get this all mixed and prepped in the, into the casserole dish. It's a two-quart casserole dish. We have the oven preheated to 350 degrees. Our turkey breast is cooking in there, so it's already been co uh, at that temperature for a while. And you want to put this in about 45 minutes before your turkey is estimated to be done. We're going to cover it with tin foil for a half hour and then uncover it and let it cook the last 15 minutes on natural. That means no covering. Alrighty. Now here's my two quart casserole dish. It's already been buttered. I bu pre buttered it. Didn't put oil, I put butter. I got butter in my onions. I'm going to have butter in my bowl. All right, get that all in there, get all those lovely little onions, all right, press it down, all right, let's wipe the hands off a little bit, we're going to put our tin foil on. And we're going to put this in the oven for a half hour. Then we're going to take the cover off. 15 minutes, it will be done the same time as your turkey. All right, see you in about an hour. Okay, welcome back to how to make stuffing. It's ready. In fact, our turkey breast is browned. We got 
homemade mashed potatoes with a little black pepper sprinkled in there, buttered peas, a little salt, homemade gravy, and here is my stuffing. It's got meat, it's got bread, it's got seasoning, onions. This is a perfect meal, whether it's your Thanksgiving feast or you're just being grateful for something. There you go. So, happy Thanksgiving. Be grateful.